Y'all know what time it is. Two drinks Colbert or Colbert. with the fellas. Oh, I think you know. This is more than a podcast with some real life conversations. Better get the drinks ready. Yo, 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 what's going on, my beautiful peoples? It's your man's Ken, a.k.a. Mr. On My Grind. Constantly grinding to get to that next dime. And like always, I got my partner in crime, and he is. Man, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy, B. Mason. We about to get into that. You already know, baby. We got a special episode. We got some of the ladies that used to that 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 brought us on when we first started to give us a little shine while they was getting a shot. We got the ladies from S and E Infusion from the Sneaker Ball, the original Sneaker Ball, the best of the best, baby. You understand? We got Miss Shamika and Unique in the building. Say what's up, ladies. Hey, hey, guys. What's up? All right, there we go. There we go. So y'all know how we get this cracking. Hey, bro, what you sipping on tonight? Man, since it's Taco Tuesday while we're recording, I went ahead and uh grab me some of this uh Milagro tequila. I'm gonna go ahead and to help you grow. Hey. Pretty <laughs> mighty, pretty mighty. So uh Shamika, tell us what you drinking on tonight. I have put your wrong. Oh, we on that tequila kick, yo. Yes. Okay, I guess okay. everybody eating fucking tacos tonight. Okay. I'm not eating tacos though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm unique. Tacos, what you got, though. mama? Uh, you know, I got a little mixture over here. I got my little S and E juice. Oh yes, yeah. Here. Yeah, it's so an infused lemonade. And then okay. yeah, me too. You know, I got a little bit of tequila. Oh shit. That Casamigos. Yeah, kind of, you know. Mix it up, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, you know, I got me a little bit of that crown apple, you know. Muslim put me on this. The old lady put me on that crown. And I'm like, oh, they got apple? Hold on, let me check it out. So we about to get lit tonight, baby. Y'all ready for this one? So, hey, let's let's go ahead and toast to another great episode. A clink of the clink, clink, clink. Y'all know the rest. Clink, clink. Oh, we got to take shots? Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to be taking shots throughout the show. Be ready. Who, mm. mm, mm, mm. Charlie? Hey, yes, okay. right. Uh, mm. All right, let's get this thing crack a lacking. So, oh, yeah. t- all right, so we all know SE Infusion. It said it in the name, it's infused. Now, y'all do a few, a couple of different things infused. Now, let's start from the beginning when y'all first started. Did y'all like cooking? And is this like just something that y'all like to do and why y'all got into it? Anybody can jump in and answer. Um, yes, we we love to cook. We love to cook and we love to smoke. So why not do both at the same time? Eat and get half at the same time. Preach. Um, Elevate so, your mind, baby. So yeah, and what got us started on it was what inspired me really was. Uh, one of my friends and her husband were started out with the edibles. And I was like, okay, talk to you, me. Maybe we should do it. We talked about it for a nice little minute. And finally, I had to hit her like, let's get down. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is a business opportunity. Let's do it. And from now, we done, done expanded. Our menu done got bigger and bigger. It's, it's still expanding. You better tell them three times, Shamika. This is growing right now, just like the plant. Y'all better stop playing. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all, we start real talk. We started out, we started out with the uh, tinsler, and we went from there to the sugar, from the sugar to the candy. Now we all into all kind of stuff, the baked goods. So we expanded. Ain't nothing that we can't we can't infuse. Let's say that. Okay, Miss Unique. What what about you? What 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 was is this your passion too? Yes, this is a passion for me, and it's actually a bigger passion than what I thought it was. It's nothing more than I enjoy being in my kitchen making some type of infused dish for myself, for a customer, for my family, or whatever. Like I just if I could be in the kitchen all day infusing dishes, I certainly would. Man, that kitchen be smelling high foam, girl. <laughs> you smelling lovely like it was. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm the shit. I'm the shit talker. You get a contact. You walk in. Ooh. You get a contact. 
<laughs> okay. Now, now you know I'm a shit talker, Unique. You said the whatever. Is the whatever an old man that like to eat your food, too? <laughs> <laughs> Not old. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I had to slide that in there. Like, hey, hey, hey. I know somebody. I know somebody enjoying them them treats too. But now, absolutely. <laughs> for sure, oh, they for got sure. a lot. They got a lot of people enjoying their infused uh, goodies, man. Um, just going off of last year's sneaker ball, they had a lot of people turn out. Um, I want to ask both of y'all, since y'all got the passion to actually work in this field, since it is actually moving and there's a wave going on with the cannabis field, um. Do you got like anybody that inspired you to do it? Like I know you said your friend was doing it, Shamika. Um, was that like were you just into the into the cannabis before this, like heavy, or was it something new since the wave started? Well, you know, yeah, she she inspired me, but the thing, um, I'm a smoker. I'm a smoker. So, you know. The edibles, it, it, like I say, she inspired me. Like, if she could do it, I let me go ahead and jump down and get down in this business, too. And what do smokers like to do after they smoke? Eat. So that's Man. why we, that's why we infuse that's the That's the both worlds. <laughs> so you got Man. both of both worlds. You're eating and you're getting high. Man, that's, that's dope. That's dope as shit. Like, I know, I know Unique went to East. What what high school did you go to, Shamika? I went to East too. You went to East? Okay, okay. Maybe one in this bitch deep. <laughs> you ain't gotta leave. It's okay. We ain't try to kick you out, bro. We ain't try to kick you out. But maybe one in this bitch. Um, I definitely uh I'm proud that we actually doing something. Cause it's a lot of us that ain't doing nothing that's came out of Maywood. So I'm proud of you ladies. Cause mm -hmm. y'all actually working Thank and grinding. You. Thank you. And, um, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna kick in there because I I went, to, I went to Summer Bridge at East, motherfuckers. Was oh, that fair to me? A couple days. Okay, we'll say you a partial pirate. I mean, I grew I grew up on 11th and Madison, so come on now. I'm, I'm still. Come on. You Doing a Maywoodian. You a Maywoodian, but you ain't no pirate. Yeah, you ain't no pirate, my boy. Hey, I, hey, you, I went to every you homecoming. You got like a pirate, but you not a I went to pirate. every homecoming at East. <laughs> you was honorary. Yeah, I'm honorary. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm honorary. I'll take I said, that. I said, right. Okay, you're honorary. Right. Shout out to the shadow days. <laughs> oh, remember them. Uh, shout out. Hey, I done went to plenty of me. Man, I went to a shadow day almost every year of high school, which you did not be. Oh, wow. I'd say you went twice. Yeah, I was. we was on Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Best reason uh, to get hey. out of class. Hell yeah. Oh, that, that and modeling the uh, tuxedos with full prom. Man, we wouldn't go to no class that day. <laughs> None. Just oh, walk around did, the school. Wait, they did have the modeling of the dresses and the, the tuxedos. Yep. Okay. But That's speaking crazy. of tuxedos, motherfuckers got dressed up and nicely for y'all first sneaker ball. So yes. go ahead and tell our audience, because we're going to play some clips from it. Tell our audience, y'all can go one at a time. What was some of the best moments or what was one of the best moments from your first annual sneaker ball? So for me, some of the best moments was the entire sneaker ball. Because, you know, as you guys know, we hit a real big wall the day of the sneaker ball and we had to change the location like just everything just had to be redone in like a matter of like three or four hours so just to see it turn out the way it did um you know the night seemed flawless like it was no issues or anything like that that was like a big highlight for me of the sneaker ball um another highlight for me was DJ Blaze RIP you R. know R. R. he R. he J. did his thing he did his thing at the sneaker ball you know what i'm saying like i never been to a party with a dj like him you know so he definitely was the life of the party everybody talked about how cool how dope the dj was he was definitely 
a highlight for me that night too. He did definitely did make the uh, dance floor fun for everybody. Um, yes, sir, he did. We definitely gonna um have have a moment that night for the second annual sneaker ball. Hey, hey, shot Absolutely. to DJ K Blaze. Blaze, R.I.P. Bro. Blaze. But yeah, um, he definitely. Yes, yes, he definitely did. He definitely did. Miss Shamika, your highlights. Um, my highlight was, of course, DJ Blaze, and also just seeing everybody enjoying themselves. You know, partying, just just enjoying themselves. That was my my biggest thing. I I was just pleased with everybody just having a good mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And yes, looking fly admit. and dope. The fellas and the ladies with their little suits and little outfits and dresses and stuff all. Yes, definitely. I, I'll right, admit, I mean, we all from it. Chicago. We all from Chicago. So to be able to go out to a function and enjoy ourselves without no bullshit, that was definitely, definitely. Because I ain't going to lie, I was packing that night, but I was like, shit, I don't need this. <laughs> message. <laughs> You no, it's you know? not a message. We don't party like that. No, no, no. It's a yeah. message saying that hey, we we can yeah. come together without bullshit. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's Definitely. true. It is, it, it, and that's exactly what it's that shit. did. It was a good turnout. It wasn't no BS. It, like I say, right. everybody had a great time. I mean, shit. Nowadays, England motherfuckers scared to come outside. Everything. Huh? I said nowadays, motherfuckers scared to come outside for real, for real. Seriously, you can't even go in a club. You can't even go in a club yeah. and enjoy yourself no more because it's always something. Exactly. So to know that the sneaker ball is a safe environment, safe environment to enjoy yourself and have some fun. Know, know that. That's yeah. the infusion sneaker ball is a safe environment and it's a good fucking time. I mean, I, again, thank both of you ladies for inviting us and letting us come through the first one because... Not only did we get to enjoy ourselves with you guys, enjoy, I mean, most of the people there, we all kind of grew up around Maywood together. So it was like a, a unofficial reunion, first of all. You For know real? what I'm saying? You know, yeah. shout out to shout out to Tamika, Miss Fane. Happy lady birthday. birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mika. Know. Happy birthday, Mika. But uh, and then on top of that, just meeting some new people too. On top of we had our first guest to be honest with you guys you guys were our first like special guest mm -hmm. and then second was crucial conflict so i mean our first and second guest ever to be on the show as an actual special guest you know what i'm saying y'all hold that title thank y'all for that thank you we glad you guys came out most definitely most definitely like like my bro i just want to tag on what my bro said it it's definitely a um a breath of fresh air because I remember back in the day when po when folks who did used to smoke cannabis, we used to be outside and then we didn't even give a fuck about breaking the law. Now that it's legal, we looking for places where we can go all as a group and smoke and not have no problems. So this type of function is definitely needed because like he said, people f uh, scared to go outside. And if you smoke weed, you be like, either I can smoke at the crib and not be bothered or I can go somewhere where I know I can smoke and then we can all just kick back and chill. Mm -hmm. And this hey, year that's... we're making the sneak about a little extra safe. Um, we are providing transportation to and from on a party bus. So you know how the S and E sneaker ball and menu goes, you know. So just to make sure that everybody, you know, have a good time and make it safely to and from, we are providing transportation. So we keep you safe. So once we put those links in all the description down below, y'all go ahead and jump on the information so y'all can go ahead and book y'all self a spot. Yeah, you know and, it's, and it's, best it's best that y'all reserve if y'all get in a hotel to reserve the hotel now because they are going fast. Mm -hmm. 
because it is so going to be on have, New Year's uh, Eve. So get ready. We do have the bus picking up. Uh, so you get picked up there and brought to the sneaker ball and then back to the hotel. So even if you don't want to stay at the hotel and you, you won't want to get on the bus, you could just park your car and, and hop on the bus. And also, hey, y'all, being safe. With all the details on the ticket and the location, once y'all purchase y'all tickets, then they're gonna give y'all more of the information. So y'all just right. hold tight. All the information gonna come to y'all. But y'all just need to jump on and as soon as y'all see a link, just jump on it as soon as can. Um, we're gonna get to shouting out their social medias at the end, but we still wanna ask Sh Shamika and Unique some more questions. Now oh yeah, we got some questions. Now go ahead, go ahead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm letting you start off because mine is bullshit. Okay, so go ahead, bro. <laughs> Got you. So, with everything going on with the cannabis business, are you guys starting to branch out, add more to your team, or do you feel what you two have together is what the magic is? Because I understand. Because a lot of times I don't like working in groups, but sometimes we need to add more people to it just to make another piece or make it grow. So tell me what y'all think. What's y'all plans for S and E going forward? Well, right now the amount of work um, and stuff that we have now is manageable between the two of us. Um, so it hasn't really been a need to bring other people in. Um, you have to be kind of careful though in this industry. Um, you know with bringing other people in um, because you can get kind of people that just kind of get your ideas, your recipes mm -hmm. and all that. And, you know, kind of take off and, yep. you know, do that. It own better thing. fucking slide. <laughs> Message. And, and do that own thing. Um, so, you know, right now we get enough business where we can kind of manage it between us. And then, you know, we always have friends and family that are always talking, promoting, and, you know, spreading the word around us. Um, in the future, you know, I plan to see us with an adult candy store, just like, mm. yeah, you know, just like the candy mm. stores we used to have back in the day. The pink yes. candy and, no. you know, that's us in the future. That's any candy <laughs> store. Yeah. Now let me now let me piggyback on that one because I was gonna say this earlier, but I'm glad you brought this up now because I have you know this this factory up here is constantly moving and and I have an idea when B may say something because you know they got smoke lounges now and things like that right so we gonna have a two drinks with the fellas smoke lounge in the future so watch it I'm 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 I'm, I'm y'all might I'm actually get get me outside if that happens shit I'm okay. speaking this into existence okay. You know what I'm saying? We you got we got a plan going. And guess what? It's going to be uh, all of the treats and everything going to be supplied by s &E, So watch that. <laughs> you did. They said nothing wrong. <laughs> and just, so, let, just let everybody know we do ship. So continue I mean, on that because that was my next question. Shemika. Don't Go ahead. think don't think that, you know, we just in Chicago and all uh, we can't know. We ship. We have ship. We have shipped out of town. So you oh, can yeah. place a you can place an order with us, and we will ship it to you. Talk about hey. Chi-Town's finest right there, making moves, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the murder, murder. We putting the murder map. We putting murder wood on the map, baby. <laughs> what up? Yeah. You drink, just took all your words. Hell yeah, I can't even talk Dude, now. Shit, I've been sitting. I mean, you see, you see the bottle. You see the bottle. I've been <laughs> sipping already. I've been it sipping already, been okay? Into my boy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, so you brought up a good point, uh, unique. So this partnership right here is trust right here, if I'm right. Absolutely. 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 Shamika like my big sister. You know, at the end of the day, we have known each other for years. And the ironic thing about me and Shamika is our, both of our best friends are first cousins. And like, that's how we met each other was through our best friends. Oh, that's dope. So mm -hmm. like, we like, you know, we're like family. Like I 
not even knowing, but grew up, you know, around her aunts and she grew up around my, you know, it's a little age difference, but, you know, we grew up around each other's family, not even really knowing who each other was until we became adults. But then mm. it just kind of all just clicked in together. And I trust her with anything. My <laughs> life, my <laughs> child. The pin to my ATM card. Like, <laughs> Who would you like to use your lifeline hey, on? Wait, hold on? Better pick this phone wait, up. Wait, hold on. You trust with that Better ATM pick this card. phone up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh i feel you i mean i can see it i can see I, I see the i see the camaraderie right here alone you know what i mean yeah big words yeah. you know my word today calendar working mm -hmm. okay so yeah you know <laughs> i see it i can feel it you know i mean i felt that the first i mean mind you i met you ladies the first time at the first s and &E infusion and it's a what's the word i'm looking for it's like a warmth you know like i've known y'all for years Mm -hmm. You know, just meeting y'all that night. And I appreciate y'all welcoming me as an outsider. You know, I'm from the same town. You know what I mean? It's just we never crossed paths before. And I know you were drunk that night because that was the lighter that was under your arm flap. <laughs> that was the one you was talking about. What? You yeah. forgot when you but, were standing there. It was on fire. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I, 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 shit, I still forgot about it. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. But that, you know what I didn't forget about? That performance by Crucial Conflict, because they showed the fuck got down alongside oh, They DJ showed their ass, boy. Yeah. I, I want to shout yeah. out to all them brothers for being so cool and down to earth. For even hey, talking to hey us. we got we got Nevermore. You got uh, Kilo. Kilo. Well, Kilo Pohar. wasn't better. Pohar Yakadoshis. What up, brother? He gonna be on soon. And uh, what's the spaceship? That nigga, me and him was about to get into it, but I wasn't hey, mad at him. No, 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 that's, not K. That's Kilo. No, no, no. Um, shit, I can't think. See, I've been drinking now. I can't even think of the was man. Was it one of crucial conflict members, or was it like somebody in the entourage? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't get into it with him, but he snatched the mic from me, and he said he tried to turn it off on me. No, nah, I tried to turn it on for you, goof ass. And nigga. the clip is gonna play. We out just been. Tell your mommy and your TT and them badass kids don't hear what the loud boom beat. Now we can turn it off. Niggas trying to turn it off on me. Yeah, y'all right. Y'all was right. Y'all was right. Y'all was right. But anywho, he thought I'd try to turn the mic off on him. I tried to turn it on because I turned it off. And snatched he must it. Be used I, to the mic getting turned off. I ain't want him. I ain't want him to be like. <laughs> he wanted that last word. Tell your mommy and T.T. them. But, yeah. the but, like, but like you need said, he must be used to the mic getting turned off on him. Right. <laughs> but hey, we hey, we love and respect Chris Conflict, though. I mean, we all grew up on him. Because I remember back in the day, we knew, hey, you know, B, smoking on. Wow. Hey. Oh. That was the that was the that was the anthem for us back in the day. Sitting on the corner, being hey, straight that feeling whole good thing. today. I'm told up for the blow up. Sipping up some crown world, tripping. Everybody got their own bud. You know, hey, how you feeling today? Time bloating and dandy. That, that classic at the classic at the like it was. Oh, rodeo, one hit, one desperado. Mm -hmm. And they was desperado. having a good time. <laughs> Final tip, that whole city, that whole oh, city yeah. went hard. And guess what? The first annual S and E infusion sneaker ball went hot because them niggas clowned. They did. Man. They did. They did. I was I trying to be professional and record, <laughs> and all my footage was shaky, boy. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey. and all you hear in the background was me just word for word. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you part of the crew? No, but you know. <laughs> We all from Chicago, so we a part of Chris Conflict. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a movement, baby. Right. <laughs>
Hold on before we get there. Hold on before we get there because at the end of the day, I do want to shout out Cruise Conflict just because they were so humble enough to even sit down with us no-name-ass niggas from Two Drinks With The Fellas. Now, mind you, the s and Infusion sneaker ball was like one of our first episodes. You know what I'm saying? My first out. It was actually our first outside episode. Okay. And it was at the, it was that, that was literally the beginning of two drinks with the fellas. Then you understand what I'm saying? So for them to sit down with us was epic to me, you know, knowing that we grew up listening to them, first of all, and they was willing. I mean, you know, I was like, bro, I told B, me and B sat in the car. Tell me if I'm lying, bro. We sat in the car when we got there. I said, look, all I need is two seconds to talk to them. We going to talk to them and interview. That's all I need. Line it up so I could talk to them. Two seconds, bro. Is that not how it went? That is not how it went. It was like, bro, <laughs> when Kush Conflict come here, what should we do? I was like, I really hope we can talk to him. He was like, me too. Me too. I'm so excited. I was like, hit this blunt. And then we came. But no, for real though, I was like, all I need so is two he, seconds. We'll so talk to him. He, did he choke? No, he no, didn't, I didn't choke. Hell. He didn't choke. He was he was hell a no. little he was a little giddy. But I was no excited, way. yeah. I was excited, but once we got up to him, hey, it's a wrap. I, I spit that shit. Homeboy said, Yeah, let us go get a drink first. Okay. I was like, We parting the Red Sea. Watch out, let Cruise Coffee get a drink. They said, as soon as we get a drink, we'll sit down. And everything. I like sure did. I started boxing people out the way. Watch out. Let's get the drink. Y'all remember from White Chicks? Move, bitch. He started pushing <laughs> that fuck out the way and shit. <laughs> Hey, but I got them a drink and they sat down and talked to us. That's all I needed. Mm-hmm. We made it happen. Cool hell, they definitely hell were yeah. some cool. They they definitely were some cool brothers. Hey, and shout out to K Easy too. K Easy came on the show too after that. Foot working his ass off. Dude that was foot working okay. with uh K Blaze. Oh, okay. With the dreads. Yeah. Oh, that was him. Okay. I didn't know his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's cool, on dude. he's he's been on a, He's been one of our past episodes just a, a couple months ago. Okay. Oh. But yeah, but y'all know what time it is because B. Mason sh- is rubbing his hands like motherfucking <laughs> bird, man. He ready. What Brother, time is it, I have go? been salivating all day, pause, for this moment. And we're about to get it all in for today's You Cool as Hell Award. And it just <laughs> happened around, around. to be. A Houston stripper who wanted to take her expertise, as you say, to a higher plateau. See now, before one. I go ahead and indulge as I normally do, I'm going to go ahead and let our guests give their piece. And then my bro will give his piece and then I will close us out for tonight. Either one of Essing, y'all can start. Go ahead and let us know. What do you think about tonight's winner who wanted to be a, a high climber? Go ahead, E. Oh, Tink Tink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tink Tink. <laughs> she needed some vitamins. She couldn't hang on to them. The uh, arm pole, or whatever that thing Oh, was. Tink Oh. Tink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It it was a done deal for her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know I what? Think, I'm... I don't think so. She shouldn't have tried that one. She should have no, she should have practiced. She, she, she should have just kept practicing. She should have just kept practicing another said, year. Tomorrow. <laughs> she should have practiced another year and then tried to do it. Always tomorrow. Okay, yeah, it's always tomorrow. Now, what I got to say is, first of all, uh, if the Power Rangers had a Glitter Ranger, first of all, okay, <laughs> face ass. Uh, the, hey, watch me do this, face ass, okay? Uh, <laughs> miss, think I can, Thomas the Tank Engine, face ass. Because um, she climbed all the way to fuck up there. Now, I would give her, hey, let's give her a round of applause. I would give her credit for getting the fuck up there. But she ain't have to come down that fucking high, okay? Talk about <laughs> Jesus take the wheel, face ass, okay? Uh, she she down. really tried it. Uh, <laughs> we, we fall down. down. We Smoky fall Norfolk. down. 
She didn't and get she up. She asked me to stay up there. Smokey Norfolk looking ass. <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, life alert bracelet looking ass. <laughs> Fell down and couldn't get up. Face ass. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just sit your. Okay. Yes. Keep practicing, ma. I saw you. You had the idea. She tried it. She watched one too many uh, episodes of. Uh, uh, P Valley. Uh, P Valley. Valley. There we go. P motherfucking Valley. She watched way too many episodes of P Valley and she wanted to be like old girl and go up the, on the rafters and she just mm -hmm. didn't have the arm strength. Okay. So, hey, get your weight up, ma. Eat a couple mm -hmm. more protein shakes. You know, try it again. And like Unique said, there's always tomorrow. All right, ma. Mm -hmm. I digress. She has to practice, though. She needs to practice a little more. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest and my bro did some good fucking homework because they got to one of my jokes before I can even get to it. <laughs> Mercedes from P-Valley is tripping again in this motherfucker. I don't know <laughs> what's going on in Houston. I think we got a problem going on. But y'all need to cool this shit out because Mick Foley is jumping from the top of the cage off to this motherfucker onto the stage. Little mama <laughs> definitely trying to get all her tips. I don't know what the fuck she was trying to reach all the way up at the top, but she even took a shortcut to the stage. Cut that shit the fuck out. Please. Fuck Circus Soleil. Fuck uh, Universal Soul Circus. Ringling bro Ringley Brothers has stepped the fuck up. Because I know I need to bring me some singles next time I take the family. Cause right, because they showing ass. They ain't, they ain't even using nets no more. They just <laughs> skydiving and elbow in the stage. Like, what is y'all doing out here? But the strip club, I, I guarantee you, they reenact the scene from The Lion King. Every Thursday. <laughs> Shout out to Simba. <laughs> but, Shout out to Mufasa. <laughs> that nigga dead. But, well, my I God. I, def <laughs> right. I, definitely want, I definitely want to say, they going to start removing them chicken wings from the clubs because y'all keep putting this grease on these poles and the, the workers can't work right. <laughs> y'all just going to kill everybody in this motherfucker. Y'all cool the shit the fuck out. The owner... The owner pissed as hell watching all this go on. He like, why are you giving free falls out? At least get paid for this shit. Stop, stop doing this dumb shit, Joe. Like, I guarantee you, <coughs> in her relationship, she act the same way. Just jumping to conclusions. Cool this shit the fuck out, dude. Because you doing too much. These, these new strippers, they be so quick to quit a job. She just said, fuck it. And I'm like, I'm done tonight. I don't want to do it no more. Workman's comp. They, they was like, I don't have the strength that my that my ancestors have. I step up for my own rights and my pride. I'm going home. But instead of going home, I know damn sure that you broke every little pride in your body. I know if I'm at the strip club and I break your fall, mm -hmm. I better not get charged for nothing in that motherfucker. Don't charge me for no drink. Don't charge me for nothing. <laughs> private me? dance. You better just you, you better just know. turn around and look at me and be like, let's go. <laughs> I'll be like, you fucking right, let's go. Okay? <laughs> and that's on my mama. But I digress. Please, y'all go ahead and send some love to this girl because I know she needed to pull that stage out of her ass and come get this award <laughs> because you fucking deserve it. Because she cool as hell. <laughs> yeah. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, ladies, go ahead and let everybody know where they can find S and E Infusion at, and shout out y'all social media so they get in contact with you. You can catch S and E Infusion on Instagram at S N E Infusion. You can also catch us on Facebook at S E Infusion. And you can reach us by email at sneinfusion at gmail.com. You already know. They don't let the GDs in the door. I'm sorry. I'm my bad. Um, <laughs> what about Ruger? <laughs> what about y'all own, uh, your own um, IGs and stuff? Can they find y'all on social media? Yes, I'm on Instagram at Miss underscore Unique. Um, I'm on Facebook under Shamika Murphy. All um, right, all right. And y'all yep. better come professional and correct. Because if y'all don't, y'all got to deal with two drinks with the fella because I will break somebody's fucking neck. You did? Okay. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs>
You already now, know how we get in. Now, now before we, we get off of the lady, we're going to go ahead and let them give the audience some type of description of what to expect for this second annual SNE Infusion Sneaker Ball. Y'all don't have to get a location because they're going to get all the information at ticket, but just give them a little snippet of what is to be prepared or what they should expect. But it's a New Year celebration, so, you know, you can expect everybody in there to be in dressed to the best, you know, in their formal after five wear with the dopest pair of kicks that they have. <clears throat> um, your ticket entry will include a buffet um, and a night of fun, food, champagne, toast. Um, we're also going to have a special tribute um, to um, DJ Blaze, um, <clears throat> you know, so you can expect, you know, to be honoring him that night as well. We have his family coming out, um, you know, so it's, it's going to be a good time, you know. If you missed it the first time, okay, if you miss it this time, that's your fault. Period. Jamika, do you got anything you want to add, or was that said? Was that explained good? You go she ahead, Shamika. It's on you. It's on you. <clears throat> she said everything. All e, you forgot to include. We are providing bus tra um, transportation to and from the sneaker bar, but you have to meet us at that hotel. Though we not we not finna have a bus come. Don't be asking us to drive all the way to the south side. Pick, pick you up, up at your house, or can you? We get not picking you up from your block. baby daddy house. We don't care no. how cool he is, or if he sell trees. We or don't want to go. House. <laughs> no, the pickup, <clears throat> pickup is where we say the pickup is at. It's gonna be a certain time that the bus will be leaving. So be their own time. So they're gonna tell y'all. A certain time. That's why so, we recommend people get their room there, get dressed there, so you already ready, and all you gotta do is get on the elevator and come on down. We plan this out now. We strategically yeah. plan this out because we know our people. Yeah, you know, and everybody be slow and late. Look, you know, in October the bus leave at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all got time to figure it out. So if you still so, late, fuck you. If you gonna bring your ass, please bring some class, cause we ain't gonna do none of that. We yeah. not doing. And you're not showing that. your ass either. Proud. Yeah, very much so. But you know, we don't have that type of problem because you know, um, we attract a certain type of crowd. So right, you know, right. West Side, South Side, y'all invited too. Y'all invited too. Y'all cool. <laughs> y'all cool. But West nah. Side is the best side, baby. No, it's fine. No, we don't discriminate on nobody's side. We just party in peace. Indeed. Indeed. <clears throat> so y'all get y'all y'all went ahead and blessed our people. So we're gonna go ahead and uh I just wanna thank y'all for coming on. Thank you for the opportunity again for letting us come on to y'all sneaker ball and actually do interviews with y'all and y'all guests. Um I wanna go ahead and say if you watching, go ahead and check mm -hmm. these ladies out. They doing their thing with the infusions, as you heard from Shamika. They do ship it. So if you have any problems getting to it, they can send it to you. Just go ahead and work with them. Reach them on the social medias. Or even reach them via email so you can get your order. But um, I'm proud of these young ladies. Um, and I just want to say uh, October here, so Halloween is going coming around. Y'all need to uh, act up. Well, not act up, but... Act right and not act the fuck up, cause uh, Chicago is right. about tripping. Thank, right. thank you. We, we <laughs> own that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my bro close us out, and um, we all good from there. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know when our show will arrive, baby. You did. Hey, first and foremost, again, thank you to Unique and Shamika. Uh, if y'all didn't already catch. The S and E is for these fine young ladies right and here. The clip you gonna slide. Yes, it is. Everybody, I got a very special guest here. I have Unique with us, and she's about to introduce herself. Hi guys, my name is Unique. I'm with S and E Infusion. I'm the E. Um, oh, so S and E stands for. 
What? Oh man. Samika and Unique. I, I just realized that. I didn't even know that at first. That's that's nice though. I, I like that. I like that idea. So hey, shout out to you ladies again. I'm I'm excited for the second annual. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna make this happen again. I hope y'all enjoyed the first marketing that we did for y'all with the first one because we're gonna do it again bigger and better this time too you thank, did thank you thank you guys so much <laughs> all right and then also i got a couple of shout outs first and foremost we're gonna shout out my little man marcellus my man's turn four on october 28th happy birthday son i love you man happy, happy birthday son. marcellus my little road dog my partner in crime and also, hey, another, again, I'm going to say it again so, to the homegirl, my sister, Tamika, Miss Mika Dimples. Happy belated birthday, ma. Love you. And Thank another you. shout out. Another shout out to KRG Small Business Expo. She got the hoodies popping. Brand new hoodies. Brand new hoodies out now. So check her out in the links in the description. And last but not least, hey, we appreciate all our fans. Love y'all. You know what I'm saying? But hey, y'all know how I get out. I'm out this bitch. Peace. It's a fire outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> y'all know what time it is? Two drinks. Bear and Cobra. With the fat. I think you know it. This is more than a podcast with some real life conversations. Better get the drinks ready now.